The procedure to determine the acoustic absorption in situ is to apply a point source loudspeaker to generate noise towards the acoustic sample. Measure the spherical impedance, calculate the spherical reflection coefficient and convert it to a planar reflection coefficient. The acoustic properties of materials such as reflection coefficient, absorption coefficient and transmission coefficient are of importance to engineers. With a PU probe, capturing both sound pressure and acoustic particle velocity simultaneously in one spot, the acoustic surface impedance can be determined without taking a sample. It thus allows measurement under circumstances that were not possible until then. The reflection coefficient can be directly calculated from the acoustic surface impedance and the acoustic surface impedance can directly be measured with a PU probe. Sample size is only a few square decimeters and the measurement time only a few minutes. No anechoic room is required. Broadbanded results can be obtained. Other methods are frequency band limited. This PU method works outside of an anechoic room. It allows a large group of users to measure the acoustic properties of materials themselves right on the spot. Where other methods require hours of work to get results, the PU method provides results for each angle of sound wave incidence in a few minutes. The theoretical accuracy of methods is often hampered by the lack of reproducible results. The PU acoustic absorption method is not susceptible to these methods related flaws. The actual measurement time is extremely short providing instantaneous results. The spatial resolution of the PU acoustic absorption method is relatively high allowing small samples to be tested. The PU acoustic absorption methods allow fast, reproducible, real-time and in situ measurements all stepping stones for end-of-line control. The compactness of the sensor setup and real-time measurements are stepping stones for adaptive systems to be developed, for example to adjust noise attenuating properties of materials and systems. In situ absorption measurements. If this is a material which has got acoustic damping properties we can measure the acoustic impedance close to the surface. First, we emit a sound wave with a spherical loudspeaker and we measure with the pressure microphone and with the microphone the acoustic impedance. Once we know the acoustic impedance, we can calculate what is the reflection coefficient. However, these sound waves will not be playing with spherical. And not the planar reflection coefficient is calculated, but the spherical reflection coefficient is calculated. Because we know exactly the properties of the sound field, we can calculate from spherical reflection coefficient the planar reflection coefficient. Once we know the planar reflection coefficient, we can cal calculate the acoustic damping properties of this material.